we cherish the simple pleasures in life. For us petrol heads, it's our cars. They are the ultimate key to our freedom. The thought of driving them on the weekend helps us get through a hectic week and just the thought of belting them out on a great piece of tarmac allows us to forget our pain. We live for the thrill of driving and a great driving road is what makes for a fascinating drive. There's no lack of great driving roads in India. They're hiding right under our noses. Roads that tug at our heartstrings. Roads that let us connect with our machines. Welcome to Evo India and welcome to the Great Driving Road series where our mission is to show you some of the best stretches of tarmac from around the country. Today we are near Kolhapur to show you a newly constructed road which connects the serene towns of Gargoti and Patgao. But before we go any further, subscribe to the Evo India YouTube channel and hit that bell icon down below to stay notified for all things thrill of driving and thrill of riding. And the Gargoti Patgao road is a prime example. It is a 30 odd kilometer stretch of freshly paved tarmac that will surely channel your inner racer. Lucky for us, Hyundai very kindly lent us the venue end line for this drive. The second car under the end line brand that promises the thrill of driving more than anything else. Padgao is a hill station and it is the go-to spot for all the people hailing from nearby cities and towns. It makes for a great weekend getaway place as it is just an hour away from the city of Kolhapur. And if you are a history buff, you'll know that this place, it is full of historic significance. Kolhapur was a base of the Maratha Empire and Padgao is where all the rulers used to go in summers to beat the heat. This region is a must visit during summer and monsoon because that is when everything around here gets prettier. The plants are lush green, there are waterfalls flowing down the hills and even locals selling delicacies by the road. The Gargoti Padgao road which although is a small stretch takes you through wide open grasslands and even a tight mountain road at the end towards Padgao. There's hardly any traffic here and you can really give it the beans because you can see far ahead at any given point of time. And I'm so glad to have bought the venue N line with me for this drive. The venue it has always been the sportiest compact SUV in its class. But the N line with its few tweaks just takes it one step ahead. Although it shares the same 1 litre turbo petrol engine with the standard venue with unchanged power figures, this venue N line is a much, much better car to drive. All thanks to stiffer suspension, a weightier steering wheel, and even disc brakes at the rear. The Gargoti Padgao Road then is almost like the time stage of a rally event. It is flawless with its smooth tarmac, has fast flowing bends and even a tight mountain climb at the very end for all the corner cover lovers. It is also beautiful to simply look at. When you are in the mood for a peaceful drive, just stop and admire the beauty that Maharashtra has on offer. This part of the state is truly a gem that's waiting to be discovered. The locals here are friendly and because it's an area that's getting developed by the day, the hotels and restaurants are also kind to your market. The southern part of Maharashtra, it isn't the first place which comes to mind when you're thinking of a great driving road. But it really should be. The government is building some very, very good roads around this region to connect small towns better. And it's actually a very good thing that this region is overlooked because that only gives us petrol heads a chance to enjoy our cars better. 